I will start with a quote. Under a country will cease to be confined within geographic limits. Our national boundaries will be both dynamic and human as they will pulse according to the demands of our collective experience and ambitions. Taken from the Canadian Diaspora Consultative Committee Statement 2010. My name is Trisha Mitchell. I am the president of a youth organization in Toronto, Canada called Spice Youth Toronto Community Initiative. And with me doing the presentation today will be Ms. Tessa Peterson, who will uh, uh, introduce herself a little uh, um, in a few minutes. And uh, she is a representative from uh, an, another youth organization, this time in Montreal, called Spyco. And she'll uh, give you a little bit more background on that in a little while. I'll give you a brief summary of what our presentation will entail. An immense part of contributing to the Diaspora Initiative as youth is to first define youth in the Grenadian diaspora in Canada in terms of demographic composition, etc., geographic location, and so on. And then to identify the skills that we as youth have acquired from living abroad. It is only after this is done that youth can begin the task of allocating these skills to assist in the development of Grenada. With this in mind, our both organizations have approached the diaspora initiative in three segments. One, naming the experiences and skills that youth in the diaspora have learned and gained from living abroad. Two, identifying the country's needs as outlined in the summary report of the draft proposal of the diaspora initiative from 2010, and three, matching those skills with the needs identified to create recommendations and focused outcomes. A brief background and context. My Youth Toronto Community Initiative is a youth-focused non-profit organization fully supported by the Office of the Council General Toronto and dedicated to the creation of an integrated network of youth of Grenadian and Caribbean heritage in Toronto, Canada. Formed in 2010 as the unofficial youth arm of the Grenada Association Toronto, Spice Youth Toronto Community Initiative, hereafter I will refer to it as SYTCI, aims to empower and engage youth by investing in their educational, social, and professional development, and to provide a platform where they can freely share ideas, increase access to resources, and collaborate with other community partners and organizations who share youth in the Caribbean community. And because that's one of the platforms that we have operated on, I'm now going to introduce Tesla, who, as I mentioned before, is um, a member of another youth organization, and I'll let you, uh, I'll let her be a Bonsoir, mesdames et messieurs, je vous souhaite le meilleur de Montréal. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I greet you with the best from Montreal. My name is Tessa Peterson, like Trisha mentioned, and uh, I am one of those first-generation brain drain people who have left Grenada and has migrated to Canada, but is very excited about the Diaspora Initiative. And make no mistake about it, we see the Diaspora Initiative as a reversal of that cursed brain drain. We see it as a way that young people in the diaspora can really latch on to that love that we feel for the homeland, that agony that we feel when we have to take a plane and leave and take our skills with us and take our talents with us. And I was so heartened this morning to hear Mrs. Schoon, uh, the Honorable Sir Paul Schoon, speak of how we can contribute. Personally, I speak three languages. I would love, absolutely love to be able to be teaching little kids in their little houses, French and Grenada. I'm really excited about the diaspora initiative. I'm here on behalf of SPICO, that's the Spice Youth Organization in Montreal. And 
we have been hearing a lot today about how we need to engage second generation youth and organizations like ours in the task where that is exactly what we aim to do and we do this through activities we do this through programs and so on where we engage second generation young people of grenade in this sense we have been doing so since the inception this diaspora initiative like i said is really exciting for young people. We think that it is our initiative. We think that it is something that we need to really latch on to because in the years to come, we're the ones who are going to be carrying it forward. And I'm really excited to be here. I'm really excited to be sharing this moment in Grenada with you. And as the, as the conversation flows and as it unfolds, we're going to talk a little bit about what, where we see the diaspora initiative going in terms of young people not just in the task for but in Grenada as well. I'm going to turn it back over to Trisha now. Following after that, I don't think that I have to tell you that once we, as you heard about the initiative, that we really took a very, very active role in terms of um, being involved in terms of the diaspora conflict of committees and also within our various organizations. Mm -hmm. Now, how we have envisioned this project is as a means for youth to become more connected with the affairs and happenings in Grenada, and in turn for Grenadians to learn more about the activities of the diaspora, and in so doing, correct some of the myths some surrounding migration. We are of the belief that the first step so assisting in development at home is the first concentrate on connecting and strengthening the youth of the diaspora by identifying the resources, skills, and experiences that are available to and that one may possess as a member of the diaspora. To address this concern, we formulated the following question. Who are we as youth members of the Grenadian diaspora in Toronto? Before delving into the responses to this question, it is important to first define the demographic of youth of Grenadian descent living in the GTA Canada. Loose estimates from Stats Canada approximate that about 65,000 Grenadians reside in Canada. This would include first generation, that is, those who, like myself and like Casper, who have migrated for, for various reasons. In our case, it's for uh, the pursuit of post-secondary education, or perhaps the United Family, to further career goals, etc., and also the second, third, and fourth generation, the offspring of these first migrants. Now, the answers were wide-ranging, yet the overall input from these interactions, especially from the youth in Toronto and surrounding cities, was the same. Grenadian youth are versatile, resilient, hardworking, and as coined by one of our members, intrinsically different. Now here I will insert a quote that came out of uh, the diaspora forum that uh, was hosted by Spice Youth Toronto um, in terms of preparing for this particular conference. It says, living away from home is never an easy feat. Many are of the belief that life outside of Grenada is nothing but glitter and glam. Mm -hmm. However, as we have learned from each other and from other Grenadian youth in the community, living abroad can sometimes be challenging, but at the same time, it's ripe with new learning opportunities. It is these opportunities that we need to harness in terms of figuring out how we as youth assist in the process of development here in Grenada. As I mentioned, um, in preparation for this year's founding conference, for this particular conference, we, as a uh, Spice Youth Toronto Community Initiative, we were active in the uh, diaspora consultative committees, both in uh, Toronto and in Montreal. We also attended the um, Diaspora Youth Forum hosted by the Grenadian Young Women's Association, GEWA. And uh, we're also part of um, the formulation of the Diaspora Consultative Committee mm -hmm. in uh, Montreal uh, with the, the SPICO users. And uh, we also hosted our own Diaspora Youth Forum in Toronto on May 22nd. We hosted this initiative in conjunction with the Council General of Grenada in Toronto. 
The event was graced by the presence of the Junior Minister of Culture and ICT, Senator Arlie Hill, and of course a representation from Montreal in the form of Tessera Peterson. The theme for that forum was Grenadian Youth in the Diaspora, or Relationships, Connections, and Contribution to the Homeland. The objectives of the event were to, first, clarify the diaspora initiative. Two, identify the ways in which, in which the, youth the, the youth diaspora in Toronto can support the initiatives of the Office of Diaspora Affairs. And three, to gather information and ideas from this forum to help formulate a youth paper for this conference. The youth forum was divided into three segments. The first was aimed at identifying the various skills that youth gain through their experiences living in the diaspora. The second was to give the participants an opportunity to unmask the diaspora initiative by interacting with the draft proposal from, for the, from, the institute, from the Institute of the Office of Diaspora Affairs and the report from the preparatory conference held in August 2010. While this, the third segment allowed participants to identify how their skills could be matched with the needs required for Grenada's development. I'm going to pass you along to TESCO to um, really um, structure how the, the recommendations, sorry, and proposals that we came up with. Thank you again. I, like Trisha said, I was present at the FYT Diaspora Youth Forum. The only downside to that forum, and that was something that was echoed by the uh, Young Women's Association of New York, was the lack of participation. I really had hoped that there would be more young people there really excited and really ready to share their views. Nevertheless, that is our job in the diaspora. Our job in, in the diaspora is to spice up the diaspora to spread the love of the Spice Isle. <laughs> and there were some recommendations that came out of that event. 